What is up, my peeps? Welcome back to the Persona 5 Royal Playthrough. I am your host, of course, Mr. Espinoza X. And in the last episode, our heroes went back into Kamashita's palace only to find out that there might be a possibility that the volleyball team is being abused by Kamoshida and everything. And then pretty much after that, we were, uh, Ryuji was trying to, you know, find out their faces after finding out their camera on their phone don't work while in the metaverse. And so pretty much Ryuji's like, oh, I'm good with faces. I'll remember them and everything like that. And then pretty much after that, uh, you know, Kamoshida was there waiting for us in the exit. And pretty much what we thought was going to be the end of our heroes, Ryuji woke up to his true self and obtaining a person and wake awakening his persona of Captain Kid. Pretty much acquiring a cool outfit just like our hero um, and Morgana and everything like that. So yeah, again, a lot of things have been going pretty crazy and everything like that so we'll see how this episode holds up and everything like that so yeah um and uh oh we're i think we're gonna be visiting our old friend igor once again yes back to the velvet room we go <laughs> welcome to the velvet room I thank you. About thank you. Resuming our previous conversation tonight. That is why I have summoned you. What are your thoughts? Are you becoming accustomed to this place? Uh, yeah, 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 I am. Ah, glad to hear it. It seems you have nerves of steel. I got the nerves the and the balls of steel. Is to thwart the just kidding, I'm just ruin. kidding. <laughs> However, such a feat cannot be done by you alone. Today, you entered a partnership with someone who awoke to the same power, did you not? Yes, I did. A partnership? You mean Ryuji? Involving yourself with others is an important foundation for your recovery. You've done well. That said, I am not advising the formation of superficial relationships. It must not be a frivolity. But a ring of those who would, by morals or faith, lend you their strength. In other words, they are bonds with those who have been robbed of their places to belong. The expansion of said ring will, in return, help you mature as well. Personas are the strength of heart. The stronger the bonds that surround you, the more power your personas will gain. There are countless people in the city who have talents that a weakling like you doesn't. You better rack that noggin of yours and get them on your side. We'll change that into power. Confidants are people you trust who share a similar goal. You can find these people in places like schools and stuff. Try forming bonds with people by visiting them multiple times. Once you have formed a bond, you can press triangle and select confidant to check the strength of your relationships. Yes. This is a very important factor in the Persona games. It is building up uh, a relationship with confidants and everything like that, um, including your teammates and everything. So, yeah. Again, like I mentioned in the last episode, uh, in order to do those similar... Uh, there's going to be ones that are tied into the story, which is Igor. So, you can't really, you don't have to do much and everything since, you know... Uh, Igor's uh, confidant is pretty much um, uh, tied to the story and everything like that. But there are similar ones where you kind of could choose to, you know, uh, pretty much rank up and everything. But there's others. Uh, pretty much, it, it really depends, and you know, and everything like that um, and stuff. But I, I, I'm gonna say this right now. I probably won't do every single confidant. And everything like that because there is characters that have pretty much useless uh, abilities um, uh, uh, be uh, benefits um, and everything like that and I'll definitely tell you which one it is but definitely when it comes to your teammates yeah those are the characters you want to build a relationship 
uh, with and everything like that. People you have foreign bond with will have special confidant abilities. Your confidant rank indicates the strength of your trust with someone at the risk risk increases more of their confidant abilities will be unlocked. Press triangle to open up the menu, then select confidant. From there, you can check each confidant's arcanas well, and everything. So, yeah. Um, Continue to voting your yeah, so, yeah, just don't expect me to, now you know, do... Over. All of the characters, because there are some ones that are that have really not that great abilities um, and everything. But definitely, like your teammates, the one that will ride with you throughout the game, will definitely be very useful and stuff. Um, so that's why I kind of decided, you know, I just wanted to pretty much start. That's why I kind of just wanted to just from the get go, like, you know, have all of my um, my social links uh, ranked up and everything like that. That way it saves me time in this playthrough and everything. Um, and maybe you guys are wondering, am I going to be using the items that I had in my last uh, new 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 game plus save? Like, no, I pretty before even going into it, I will sell pretty much every single thing. And start from scratch and everything like that that way i'm not cheesing my other way i'm not you know cheating and everything like that and skimming through the whole like game and everything like that so yeah um but again just, that's kind of like i just want to do it that way it's just saving time but i will show off ways to build up your uh social links and everything like that and you know how much you can get from it and stuff there's also like place there uh, pretty much going into like different places and everything like that and just really depends on like weather and pretty much the day um, and how much you gain from your social links and everything like that. They do take a while. Be very patient um, if you want, uh, you know, because these abilities are ha are very helpful. Like these different confidants have abilities that are very useful and everything like that um, and stuff. So, you know, definitely build, that's why I kind of recommend, like, you know, definitely building relationships with these different confidants and everything like that. So, yeah, I definitely recommend it, you know, especially, you know, for you to help out playing through these games and going to the different palaces and everything. So, yeah, um, and stuff. God, what a fucking dick move. Sorry. Oh, now you're sorry after, like, hesitating. Take him to the nurse's office. Oh yeah, he's definitely abusing the volleyball team. No doubt. Yes, he will. All right, let's resume the match. Although maybe we should have been more careful. Like maybe he would have actually hit somebody. I don't know. <laughs> oh man. Um. <laughs> But yeah, um, so yeah, just, you know, build those relationships with the different confidants and everything like that. I'll definitely show off which ones are there and everything. It's not every single character, it's not every single uh, character in this game. There's certain ones and I'll definitely show who those characters are. And of course, like I mentioned, there are ones that have useless uh, abil uh, confidant abilities. And yeah, so I will show off the ones that do have that and the ones where I'm like, you know what? That's this is the one that I do not bother with. <laughs> but the teammates that you go with in these palaces, those are the ones you want to build the relationships with. Definitely. Literally, especially. <laughs> oh, man. You can use quick travel by bringing up the map with r1 and selecting the location you want to go to yes now we have the ability to pretty much fast travel um and everything like that and stuff for those who pretty much uh don't want to you know just walk you know to your destination and everything like that you could always just fast travel and everything like that but there are uh there is a a uh, a con when doing that uh, you'll probably miss a lot of like uh, really cool Easter eggs and everything like that and stuff, um, especially depending on the day. 
um say like we reach like october like you'll start seeing like halloween decorations around uh shibuya and everything like that like that's what i mean pretty much like you'll miss a lot a lot of that and everything like that so yeah um i do it you know just to kind of save me time i'll, I'll yeah i def i'll definitely do it in this playthrough just to save me time and everything like that so yeah because again my limit to this is at least two hours i, I definitely don't want to go you know beyond that and everything like that i don't want to like you know make like a six hour video like trust me i don't want to take up that much time and everything so yeah um like originally i kind of thought about pretty much just bringing one uh palace arc into just one single episode but i thought like to myself i'm like no i'm not gonna like nope i'm not gonna do that like no that's just gonna uh, that's definitely going to take up a lot uh, of time and everything. So I'm just like, yeah, I'll just break it down into parts and everything. Because that's uh, obviously more easier and everything like that. So, yeah. Again, I wanted to stream this game. You know, kind of like how I do it, did in the style of uh, Resident Evil, the, my Resident Evil playthroughs. And uh, my Batman, or my, my Telltale Batman playthrough. Um, and everything like that where I've just pretty much just you know download the stream and then just break it up into parts But there is no function to where uh, Like there is no function to where freaking uh, You could lower the game volume um, on this and stuff and I that's why I hope that these new uh, That the uh, switch version uh, the ps5 version and the Xbox version at least has that you know what i mean like i will at least have that and stuff but uh we'll see we'll definitely see we have like two weeks away before the persona 5 royal versions of those of that of those come out and everything like that well at the time of this recording it's two weeks away and stuff so yeah but not only that we finally get an official announcement for when uh persona 3 portable and uh persona 4 golden come out which is pretty much early than i expected literally uh in january which i'm really happy and everything like that so yeah because those are the games i definitely want to try out i mean i did i remembered i remembered after playing this game i try to get you know i i got freaking persona 3 uh fes for the ps2 yeah um <laughs> very different it, it's very different and everything like that because you can't control you cannot control your confidants uh your your partners um and stuff in that game uh -huh. and so when you're doing battles and everything like that um and stuff and i'm just like okay yeah this is uh, way different um and pretty much after and i and i did buy vanilla persona 4 um on the playstation network on my on my ps3 and everything like that and yeah that one was way a bit different but still it's like i'm happy that you now you're able to control your uh your um your your teammates pretty much and everything like that but it is a bit different and everything compared to this game this game definitely made it a little more easier and everything like that and that's why you know my best friend uh gwc recommended this game for like first time users because uh maybe you guys are wondering why i skipped over the other persona games and everything well um i'm not sure if i mentioned it neither but you could pretty much like each persona game it's its own different story different characters and everything it's that type of game series and everything like that so that's why you know i definitely whenever you want to be introduced into persona games and everything that's why i kind of recommend playing this game first and everything like that just to get you that you know like that you know that thing where like okay this is what i'm expecting and everything like that so yeah um and stuff so yeah but anyway here pretty much investigating getting gathering information on the uh, people that are being abused uh by kamoshita and everything like that and you could definitely tell from the bandages uh you could pretty much t uh listen in on conversations on people what they're saying and everything like that um and stuff and i think this is the final one yeah this guy's covered in bandages so we'll go ahead and talk to him huh yeah i'm from the volleyball team what do you want yo i need information you hear that? why would you say something like that i mean sure mr kamashita strict but it's like it's for other sports teams right 
though the special coaching he gave Mishima Senpai was probably too far. Oh, oh, seriously, I don't know anything. Sorry. Mishima. I can't do it. Kazuya? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, that's what I thought too. Like, Heihashi Mishima? Freaking Kazuya Mishima? Or something like, <laughs> he's part of the Mishima uh, Zaibatsu or something like that. Like, that's me as a Tekken fan, like, uh huh, like Mishima. <laughs> but no, it's a different Mishima and stuff. Though I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, uh, that Mishima is, uh, has some sort of connection to the Mishima family or something. Like, you know, like, uh. anyway, <laughs> that's just the Tekken fan in me. Sorry. <laughs> oh, buddy. Damn, we didn't get anything at all. Everyone just didn't want to talk. What is it? It'll be quick. Okay. Anyway, what's with you? Like how you were late the other day was a lie and all. There's that weird rumor about you too. What do you want with him? Right back at you. You're not even in our class. We just happen to get to know each other. What are you planning on doing to Mr. Kamoshida? Huh? Hmm? I see. I get ya. You're all buddy buddy with Kamoshida after all. This has nothing to do with you, Sakamoto. If you found out what he's been doing behind your back, you'd dump him right away. Behind my back? What's that supposed to mean? <sighs> you wouldn't get it. Anyway, people are already talking about you two. I don't know what you're trying to pull, but no one's gonna help you. I'm warning you, just in case. That's all. Those guys definitely have some history. So aggressive all the time. You know her? We just went to the same middle school. Ah, makes Anyways, sense. Anyways, that's not what we're here to talk about. I had no luck on my end. What about you? Did anything like someone's name turn up? Mm, yep, uh, Mishima. Ki Kirajima, yeah, definitely. Definitely Kina, it's a uh, Mishima. <laughs> it's just, it's it's funny, you know, these d different dialogues that they give you, like, it's just, oh man. Huh? Special coaching, huh? Yep. True. I always see the guy covered in bruises. Let's go talk to him before he leaves then. Oh, high school. Hey, got a second? Sakamoto? And you too. Come on, we just want to chat. Kamoshida's been coaching you, huh? You sure it's not just physical abuse? Certainly not. Who are you sure. talking about polite for? Anyways. We saw him spike you today, right in the face. That was just because I'm not good at the sport. Still, it's that not good at the sport the yet. You're still participating got. in it. They're from practice. Is he forcing you to keep quiet? That's it's like he's forced to pretty much. Oh shit. Mishima, isn't it time for practice? Uh, I'm not feeling well today. What? Maybe you're better off quitting then. You're never going to improve that crappy form unless you show up to practice. What's a fucking he dick? He ain't feeling well. Well, Mishima, are you coming to practice or not? I'll go. As for you, any more trouble and you'll be gone from this school for sure. Bastard. Same goes for you. Didn't the principal tell you to keep in line? I was just leaving. <laughs> just don't get in the way of my Definitely don't want to say that was an amazing spike. I, again, it's just funny these dialogues they give us and everything. Like <laughs> in this game you got to be serious, but in its uh sequel/spin slash spinoff, the di dialogue in that one doesn't really matter, but we'll definitely get to that when we get to that, but it's just like it's it's hilarious, dude. Yes, sir. That asshole. He's gonna pay for this. There's no point. Huh? Hmm? Hoping that he's physically abusing us. 
is meaningless. Everybody knows. The principal, my parents. What the hell? And they won't keep quiet about it. This has got to be a joke. Don't be a pain. You don't understand what I'm going through. Shouldn't you of all people know that nothing's going to help? <sighs> So teachers, parents, principal, they all know. Wow, what the fuck? What now? I'll try one more time to persuade the other guys. That's all I can do. I really don't see a point in it neither, though, but damn. Just everybody knows about it. Well, this is going to be challenging. Anyway, back in our room. I'm worn out of all the stuff that happened today. I should probably get to sleep. Yeah. Yeah, after today, yeah, I definitely deserve some sleep. But damn, that's just crazy, dude. Like, like that, like, it's it's crazy because, like, like there, there's a, there is a lot of high schools like that. I, I will admit that and everything, but I'm not going to go that far um, and stuff. Or I don't want to go to that topic. But th I'm just saying, like, yeah, there is definitely some high schools like that so yeah oh man oh, that is crazy that is definitely crazy it's basically because Kamashita made the volleyball team famous yeah even so they don't give him the right to do whatever he wants he's beating kids up and all they're allowed to do is endure and thus follow over and that follower of his doesn't give one single shit. What follower? What are you talking about? I think I know he's, who he's talking about. I think he's talking about uh, Takamaki. Tak I cannot talk today. Yeah, on Takamaki. Yep, yeah, her. You met her in the courtyard, remember? You should know her. I mean, she's your, in your class, dude. Ugh, what a load of bull. I can't let it end like this. I'm going to try and find someone who knows about what's going on with Kamashita during break tomorrow. I'm beat. If I butcher some of these names, I apologize. I'm just saying right now, if I butcher some of these names, I... I I apologize for butchering them and stuff. So yeah, but man, that is just yeah, that is crazy, dude. But yeah, um, <clears throat> so about witnesses. I was wondering if we could get something out of Takamaki. Since she's with Kamoshida? No, that ain't why. You know, we didn't get a thing out of the volleyball team. I figured it'd be a good idea to talk to someone who knows them. To Kamoshida's... I tried to talk to a girl during break, but I got nothing. That's why we should have to come and talk to her. Think again. Then again. Sorry. It's just like those little texts were like pretty small and everything like that. So, yeah. Shouldn't you be heading to volleyball? Uh huh. That bruise above your eye. Is that from practice, too? Y yeah. Are you sure you're not pushing yourself too hard? I'm okay. Volleyball's the only thing I can do right. Shouldn't you take that? It's probably just my part-time job, I think. I should get going. Shiho. Um, are you sure you're okay? Uh-huh. Yes. T 
Today won't work. I'm... I'm not feeling so good. Sorry. Bye. Hey, wasn't that Takamaki? Rumor has it she's dating Kamoshida. Seriously? I heard people saw them in his car together. You know, she seems pretty easy, huh? You think I'd have a chance to? Come on, dude. You can't go after Kamoshida's bitch. <sighs> what? Uh, oh, I'm in the way, aren't I? No, it's Sorry. all good. Don't worry about it. Are you hurt? Huh? Um, well... Hmm. You don't look familiar. Could you be that transfer student from Class D? Yep, I am. The um, one and only. This might not be any of my business, but don't let the rumors get to you, okay? Eh, they don't bother me. I'm glad to hear that. My best friend is often misunderstood, too. All because of her looks. Uh, sorry. I didn't mean to drag on like that. Anyway, I have to go to practice. I'll see you around. Jeez, poor, poor thing. Damn it. What the hell? Did you find someone? <sighs> Is that what it looks like? <laughs> All of them kept saying the same shit Mishima was talking about. Kamoshida had to have told them something. At this rate, looks like we'll have to go to him directly. Should have started with that. I know. But seriously, isn't there something we can do? No way I'm gonna give in like this. Can you think of anything? Mm, how about a sneak attack? Fine if we could do it without getting caught, but if we did, we'd be seriously done for. You got any other ideas? How about we call the police? So you want to tell them about the castle? They never believe I mean, us. We don't have to exactly tell them about the castle. What do we do? You know what? I actually got an idea. Let's punish the king. You mean that other world's Kamoshida? Mm-hmm. I didn't think of that. But is there any meaning to I finally found you. Wait, what the heck is that? You say something? Uh no. I don't think you can get away with not paying me back for helping. Is you. that who I think it is? Voice. Is that you, Morgana? How dare you up and leaving me? Yep, it's Morgana. The cat Cat's form and everything. I am not a cat. You're this like literally a cat though. <laughs> trouble finding you two. Wait, you came to our world? <gasps> Does that mean you've got a phone? You don't need one when you're at my level. I did get pretty lost making my escape, though. That aside, why can you talk? You're a cat! How should I know? You hearing this, too? <laughs> <laughs> Meow? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are having a rough time of this, hmm. I heard you mention something about witnesses. Oh, shut up. You know, <laughs> I could tell you a thing or two about what to do about Kamashita. You were pretty close just a moment ago. God, that condescending attitude. This thing's gotta be Morgana. You were still doubting me? Quiet down! Uh, we really have to be looking for a cat in a busy time like this. I just heard a meow somewhere near here. Didn't you hear it? Uh, make sure you check every nook oh and boy. cranny around. Meow? Does that mean only us two can understand what you're saying? Looks like it. What the hell's going on? 
Anyways, what you were talking about earlier, is it for real? You're quite the skeptic for being an idiot. Hey, tell us more. Then again, this probably ain't the best place. Here, stick it in your bag for now. It should be just small enough to fit. Hey, Why would you stick it in your bag? Why did it gotta be my bag? Don't be so rough with me. <laughs> Enough of that. You said you know how we can do something about Kamoshida, right? It has to do with what this guy was talking about earlier. You'll need to attack his castle. What do you mean? That castle is how Kamoshida views this school. He doesn't realize what happens in there, but it's deeply connected to the depths of his heart. Thus, if the castle disappears, it would naturally impact the real Kamoshida. What had happened? A palace is a manifestation of a person's distorted desires. So, if that castle were no more... He desires would go too. Precisely. You sure pick up things fast. For real? He, he's gonna turn good? But is that really getting back at him? Erasing a palace essentially means forcing the owner to have a change of heart. However, even though their warped wants disappear, the crimes they committed remain. Kamoshida will become unable to bear the weight of those crimes, and he'll confess them himself. You for real? That's possible? And since the palace will no longer exist, He'll forget what we did there as well. Not only will we be able to bring Kamashita down, but there won't even be a trace of our involvement. That's amazing! You are one incredible cat! Oh boy. True. Except <laughs> the cat part. So? Don't call him a cat, house? even though he is a cat. <laughs> By stealing the treasure held within. Stealing? I'll tell you more once you agree to go ahead with this. It's my most valuable secret plan, after all. If you want to help me out, I'll gladly teach you. What's your call? Our luck's running dry looking for witnesses. Guess we have no choice but to go along. You're right. Good. Oh, right. There's one more thing I should tell you. If we erase a palace, there is no doubt that the person's distorted desires will be erased as well. But desires are what we all need in order to survive. The will to sleep, eat, fall in love. Those sorts of things. What are you getting at? If all of those yearnings were to vanish, they'd be no different than someone who is shut down entirely. They may even die if they're not given proper care. So... They might die? Wait, you what? To everything I have to say first. Would their death be our fault? Aren't you determined enough to face those kinds of risks? Hey, what do you think? I mean, yeah, I want to stop him, but I don't want to kill the guy. The guy's an asshole, but I don't want to kill him. Bring him to justice. I come all this way, and this is what I get. It's not like anyone will ever find out. That's not the point. If we just go around secretly doing whatever we want, we'd be no better than that effing Kamoshida. <sighs> Isn't this your only option? I'll come back later. Make sure you've made your decision by then. Man, we're getting all worked up for nothing. Damn it. I'll try and see if I can figure out another way. Come on, let's get out of here. Man. Yeah, some of the guys in my class have been talking about this Suzui girl. Looks like rumors are getting around about her and Kamashita. If they're true, they're no wonder I couldn't get her to talk. Still, something about that doesn't seem right. Do you know something? There's nothing too clear-cut, but 
I've known Takamaki and Suzui since middle school. There's just no way Kamashita's their type, you know? So I gotta wonder where the rumors come from. I guess we'll get it tomorrow. Wonder what other students are saying. I should listen in as I go home. So yeah, I mean you could choose to listen in and everything like that. You don't have to and stuff. Nothing really affects the the MC in any way and everything like that. I mean it's always useful to kind of just like gather some type of information and everything like that. Like, you know, what people are talking about and stuff like that. So yeah. And everything. But again, all rumors. Sometimes could be true, sometimes could be not, you know. You know, that's it's it's rumors. And it's also kind of like a big part with the Persona games and everything, like high school with people spreading gossip and everything like that. So yeah. Um and stuff. Um but yeah. But man, that's just crazy. It's like we could stop them, but at the risk of, you know, possibly killing the guy as soon as his desires go away. Like that's uh yeah, the guy's an asshole and everything and must be brought to justice, but I don't wanna kill the guy. That's something I definitely that's the last thing I wanna do. Just want the guy to admit to his crimes and everything like that. That's all we wanna do, but yeah, killing the guy, that's like something that's stretching it a little too far. I mean, you know what I mean? But anyway, you're just kind of like making my way over here. I could definitely just fast travel um, and stuff, but nah. Sometimes I like, you know, just to like walk or like, you know, walk to my destination and everything like that um, and stuff. Like, I don't know. I just like, you know, definitely just like to like kind of like you know not miss any of like you know the the scenery like the pretty much the whole like city you know from like this from like you know the subway to like the whole city and everything like that like that's something like i like enjoy about these type of games and everything like that what's going on over here you call yourself a teacher this has nothing to do with shiho oh boy position wait were you listening uh not on purpose haven't you heard of privacy uh, no I was out of line sorry so how much did you hear? Mm, you were arguing. Definitely, like, pretty much everything. See, that is true. It's nothing at all. Nothing. It's too funny. I wonder what happened. I should follow her. I mean, I don't have to, but I guess, you know, just to make sure that she doesn't do anything reckless. Making sure that she's alright. But yeah, pretty much, uh... Pursue her and everything, um, and stuff. Don't worry, she won't go far. She'll, like, there's gonna be moments where she kinda, like, um... Will stop and everything like that, so yeah. Are you okay? Keep worrying about me. <laughs> Look, I want to talk. I really don't get you. I don't have anything to talk about with you. It was just an argument. With Kamoshida? Seems like she's really stressed out. You've heard the rumors, haven't you? About Mr. Yep. Kamoshida. Everyone says we're getting it on. But that's so not true. And that was him on the other line. I avoided giving him my number for the longest time. He 
told me to go to his place after this. You know what it means. If I turn him down, he said he'd take my friend off as a regular on the team. I've been telling myself this is all for Shiho's sake. I can't take it anymore. I've had enough of this. I hate him. But still, she was my best friend. She's all I have left in that sorry excuse of a school. Tell me, what should I do? <laughs> sorry, I shouldn't have asked. It's not your problem. It's fine. Huh? You're so weird. Usually everyone just ignores me. Are you really a bad person? I've heard people talking about you, but I just don't see it. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> Way to change the mood if you, for people who choose I'm bad to the bone as an option. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Kind of had a feeling they were all just exaggerations. You seemed lonely. Almost like you didn't belong anywhere. You're the same in that regard. Maybe that's why it was so easy for me to talk to you. Is there really no way for me to help Shio? My thing is, it's like... It's always good to talk to a about me. stranger, even though, you know, everyone says never talk to strangers and everything like that. But in a sense, it just like means, that, like, don't talk happened. to, like, anybody that looks shady and everything like that. But in a sense, it's always, like, I don't know, when you're, like, at a restaurant, in line to a GameStop, so a certain someone would understand that part. Um... You know, at a bar or something like that, it's, or you know, you're talking to a bartender, you know, about what you're going through right now. It's always good to kind of talk to someone you don't know about your problems and everything, rather than talking to someone you definitely know, like a a friend, a brother, a mom, a, a significant other, and everything like that. Like, definitely helps talking to like a complete stranger, someone you don't know. And everything um, about you know you. what you're going through and everything it, it definitely helps out a lot and everything trust me I've you know at my darkest times you know stepping out of you know my house and everything like that you know it's always good to just talk to someone and everything well like what you're thinking what you're going what's going on in your mind what you're thinking like you know what I mean and stuff like, I'm not saying entirely do not avoid talking to your significant other or a friend or anything. It's always good to also talk to friends and everything like that. And definitely the ones that definitely understand and everything like that. Um, and stuff. As for family goes, it just really depends. That's <laughs> it, it really depends on the brother or the sister. It really depends on the mom and the dad or stepdad or stepmom. It, it, it all just depends and everything like that. So, yeah. But anyway, no, no, definitely haven't. I'm perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Well, they've got to be pretty strange to want to spend time with you. Just make sure you're careful who your friends are. If you don't want them ruining your life. Nah, yeah, definitely. Ooh, look at the time. Seriously, think about how I feel having to stay up here waiting for you. Hey. I'm leaving. In the future, try not to come back so damn late. Understood? Got it. So, what do you think about what Morgana told us? I don't know if I get all the stuff about stealing desires and Kamashita's gonna turn like a uh, brain dead if we mess up, right? I mean, sure, I'm. I pissed. I. I'm pissed at him, but I don't want to really want to kill the guy. 
Yeah, that's a little too much. I don't want to kill the guy neither. For sure. I mean, maybe there's just freaking out, but I don't want to end up a murderer because of because of this shit. Oh well, I'll try again somehow. But I think we all know that the only way is to pretty much stop them. But Link Kamashita's desire. Anyway, I should get some sleep. Yeah, let's just go. Like, yeah, it's just a little too much. Like, damn. Do I, like, I don't want to kill the guy, but, you know, I think that's the only option we have and stuff, so, yeah. I'm not, ugh. It, it's a really hard decision. I don't know. But we'll, we'll see what, how, how we can do this, guys. There's got to be other ways. There's definitely got to be other ways and stuff. So I assume all of you know about the separation of powers. There are three branches in our government. The National Diet is legislative, the Cabinet is executive, and the Supreme Court is judiciary. This division of power provides checks and balances, which ensures no one branch becomes unstoppable. Have you made up your mind? What the heck? No how much thinking you do, there's only that just out of nowhere, whoa! Just listening to me. What are you doing in there? Hmm, did I just hear a cat just now? Mm, mm, meow. Hmm, could that rumored cat be somewhere <laughs> in the <your> box? <laughs> yeah, so definitely now, give your position away by meowing. Important lecture. No use. I can't think of any other way. Why are you texting me on during class? Concentrate on class, dude. I can't deal with this shit right now. I mean, what are we going to do about Kamashita? Did we just go along with what the cat said? If you only knew, I'm reading this too. Hey, what's that? Hmm? Enough. This is a classroom. Wait. She's going to jump! Wait, what? Suzui? Shio? Wait, what? For real? Come on, let's go. Hey, stay in your seats. Do not step foot outside of this room. No way. Huh? Is she going to commit suicide? It's Suzui. Shio Suzui. Oh, shit. Suzui, son. Let's go look. Oh, no. Oh my god. Back to your seats. Oh. Why? She oh my god. Hey, what's going on? Hey, what's going on? We should head to the courtyard too. Alright, I Whoa, dude, that Dude, that's a... oh man. That's uh, whew, that's heavy. All right, I guess we just gotta we gotta make ourselves to the courtyard right now. Um. Hey, let me through. What the hell? Let me through, man. Please. All right, and after that, just go over he ooh, over here. Yeah, we go over here. Really? Oh my gosh, dude! That what the heck? <laughs> Exactly, dude. What the fuck are you pulling your phones out for, you fucking idiots? I'm not in charge of her class, though. We should leave this to Principal Kobayakawa. I'll go. Please hurry. Why? Mon, I'm sorry. I can't take this anymore. 
Shiho? Huh? Kamoshira? Huh? No! Shiho! Volleyball team. Return to your classrooms at once. Mishima. Hey, wasn't Mishima acting weird? He knows something for sure. We're gonna make him talk this time. Let's go. Teachers, return to your classrooms for the time being. Please do not let any students go home yet. That hurts. Why'd you run like that, huh? I didn't run. She jumped and tried to kill herself. Leave me alone. Do you know something? He's right. We ain't trying to get you busted. We won't say you talked either. Susui. She was called out by Mr. Kamashita. Oh Wait, shit. I was called by him a number of times too. To the teacher's room. It wasn't just me or Suzui either. He'd nominate someone when he was in a bad mood and hit them. So the physical punishment thing was for real. And yesterday, he called Suzui out of the blue. She didn't make any mistakes or anything. Mr. Kamashita seemed really irritated that day. So it must have been worse than usual. He didn't. That son of a bitch! Uh. Ah, shit. I should probably go get him before he does anything stupid. I bet. Sakamoto's going to find Mr. Kamashita. Mr. Kamashita's probably in the PE faculty office on the second floor. Yeah, I think we should just pursue uh, freaking Ryuji before he does anything stupid. Like, yeah, I'm angry at the guy too, but freaking, oh boy. I can only imagine what Ryuji's gonna do and stuff. I think it's, uh, yeah, physics room. Nope, not this one. Uh, let's talk to Mishima again. Yeah, if you're not too sure where uh, his office is at. Um, yeah, oh, no, oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> I think he said it's something about. I, I definitely should have paid attention. I know it's like somewhere. This is the nurse's office. I'm pretty sure. I think it was on. He said the second floor. Oh, yeah, okay. All right, there we go. I see him now. All right, cool. Let's hurry. We have to go after him. Yeah, for some reason, I always thought it was always, like, in the first, uh, like, as many times I played this game, I always thought it was, like, on the first floor or something, but I guess not. You bastard! The hell did you do to that girl? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb with me! That is enough! What you did was in coaching. What did you say? You... You ordered me to call Suzui here. I can only imagine what you did to her. You're going on and on about things you have no proof of. Basically, you're simply making these claims because you can't be a regular on the team, right? That's not what this is about! Even if it is exactly as you imagine it to be, hypothetically speaking, what can you do? We just received a call from the hospital. Suzui's in a coma, and her chances of recovery are slim. How would someone like that make a statement? There's no chance of her getting better, I hear. Oh, the poor girl. No. I can't be. You goddamn... This again? Does this mean we need to have yet another case of self-defense? You shut your mouth, you son of a bitch! Whoa! Why are you stopping me? 
Don't let him get to you. Oh, you're stopping him? What a surprise. There's no need to hold back. Why not attack me? Oh, you can. <laughs> but of course you can. Everyone present right now will be expelled. I'm reporting all of you at the next board meeting. What? What the fuck? You can't make a decision like that! Who would seriously consider what scum like you say? You threaten me too, Mishima. So you're just as responsible. Huh? To think you didn't know why I kept someone as talentless as you on the team. You act like you're a victim. But you leaked his criminal records, didn't you? It's all over the internet, correct? How terrible. What Mishima. the fuck? So it was you. I had no choice. <laughs> wow. Now, are we finished here? You're all expelled. You're done for. Your futures are mine to take. Now get out of my sight. I can't believe this asshole's getting away with this! He'll eat his words. Huh? Oh, right! We have that! Huh? Have you lost your minds? You worthless kids aren't making any sense. But sure, go ahead and try. After all, you'll have plenty of time to kill until expulsion. Can't waste any time. We gotta hurry up and go to that world and beat the shit out of that asshole. We're not beating him up. We're simply stealing his distorted desires. Can I assume that you've made up your minds about this? About how he might suffer a mental shutdown? I have. Someone almost died because of him. I don't give a rat's ass what happens to him anymore. And you? I agree. I definitely agree. At this point, the I agree. Settled. By the way, is getting rid of a palace hard? You've tried it before, right? When did I ever say that? Huh? What? Were you just pretending to know? Is it true that you're getting expelled? Everyone's talking Jeez, about words freaking spread fast. That asshole's at it again. So you came all this way to tell us that? You're going to deal with Kamoshida. Let me in on it too. Hmm? You can't just sit back and do nothing after what happened to Shiho. This has nothing to do with you. Don't butt your head into this. But it does. Shiho's my. I said, don't get in our way. <sighs> that was harsh. We can't take her somewhere like that. I hope she doesn't do anything too crazy. Women can be much bolder than men at times. We just gotta hurry up and deal with Kamoshida. Let's go already. Right. The moment we cross over, we'll treat each other like phantom thieves. So I hope you're ready. Oh, we're definitely ready. Phantom thieves? Those who covertly sneak in and stylishly steal treasure. That is what we become. I see. Not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> that sounds kind of cool. So we just gotta say the school, Kamoshida's name, and castle. And then we end up in Bizarro World. How the hell's all this work? Someone make it? Uh, of course. Someone had to. That's kind of creepy, but, uh, eh, seems useful enough. We'll show that effing Kamoshida. Let's go. They really are going to do something. They're oh boy. doing something on their phone? The name... School? Huh? Uh-oh. This isn't going to end well. Time to bust on through. What is this? Uh oh. T 
Sakamaki? <laughs> that voice, Sakamoto? It... How should I know? What's going on? Hey, where are we? Isn't this the school? I see. Perhaps she was dragged in because of that app thing. Seems that way. If multiple people can enter with the person who uses it. It stands to reason it'll pull anyone nearby. For real? Wait, so this is related to Kamoshida? Anyways, you gotta leave. No! The shadows are going to find us if you make a scene. No way! It talked! Oh my god! It's a monster cat! Well, technically... <laughs> you better explain what's going on. I won't leave until you do. <sighs> Looks like we gotta force her. But how are we supposed to do that? Just take her back to where we came in. That's how it worked last time, right? Oh, oh yeah. Can you lend me a hand? Got it. We'll explain after everything's over. Yep, sorry, Han. Hey! And just where are you touching? Whoa, sorry, I didn't mean... That's not important. You guys, seriously? Ah! <sighs> we better be careful from now on when we use that app. You should have checked the tools you used. Why do I, the one who was just watching, know more about it than you two? Shut up! <laughs> ah, jeez. Takamaki found out right when we were starting off. We gotta deal with this fast. That girl's name is An Takamaki, right? Lady An. And thus it begins, the simping. The shadows have noticed us. You better brace yourselves, got it? We're counting on you, Joker. Hmm? Joker? Not a nickname? Don't refer to it in such a lame way. It's a code name. <laughs> what kind of stupid phantom thief would use their real name? I'm not down for that. And there's no telling what kind of effect yelling our real names will have on the palace. It's just a precaution. So, uh, why is he Joker? Because he's our trump card when it comes to fighting strength. Not bad. Not bad. I like it. It's settled then. Next up is you, Ryuji. You'll be... Let's see. Thug. <laughs> Here, I'll choose it myself. <laughs> when it comes to me, it's got to be this mask. Honestly, I actually kind of like it. What if we named me after this? Fine. Why not Skull then? Oh, that sounds awesome! <laughs> I'm Skull! What do we do about this one's code name? Um, hmm. Monster, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Monster <about> cat. <laughs> well, if Joker thinks it's easier to call me that, then I'll go with it. Alright, from here on out, we are Joker, Skull, and Mona. We need to be absolutely thorough about using those code names from now on. All right. All right, time, time to, to steal, steal this treasure, treasure thing. thing. Yep. Now that we got our nicknames and everything, we are ready to take on uh, the palace. Yes. Um, I kind of wanted to hold off, but even though kind of, uh, kind of wanted to hold off on like you know the nickname thing and everything like that. But now that they established their nicknames, we are uh, the MC will now be referred to as Joker. So yeah, um, and stuff. But I, it was just really crazy. It's not like Joker. Hmm, there is a Joker from you know. There already is a Joker from Batman and everything like that. I remember playing this game and pretty much my daughter, you know, kind of like saw uh, me playing his game and everything like that, and she wondered what the character's name was. So I just like put, I said Joker, and it's just like damn, like sh that's her first introduction. Rather than like, like that's her like, she like she doesn't she calls uh the Joker from Batman 
a clown and clown pretty much and everything like that. I'm like, oof. Is that maybe I should have probably introduced her to like Batman or something like that? I know there's a form of, you know, uh, kid friendly media of Batman somewhere there that has Joker in it and stuff. So, yeah. But eh, it's all right. It's whatever. It's and everything. So, yeah. So, definitely don't want to go through here. So, we definitely got to go through over here and everything like that. Oh, nope. Oh, boy. They're everywhere. They are, yep, security's tight at this point, everybody. Oh, boy. What do you want to do? Hold on. Oh, wait, it's actually, no, never mind. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> Let's go. All right, here we go. Morgan's going to teach us another thing. Remember how I taught you hold-ups and all-out attacks? I'll teach you their practical use now. There's another use for holdups, besides simply defeating enemies. Okay. Shadows are beings born from people's hearts, so naturally they can talk, too. In other words, you can communicate with them. Get it? If you talk to them when they're cornered, they might offer money or items since they don't want to die. Hmm. Okay, okay. That, that should definitely be useful. a better chance of scoring something great, as opposed to just offing them. Well then, let's do the first step. Knock all the enemies down and do a hold up. All right, let's go ahead and knock it down with the weakness. That was incredible, Joker. So, so you guys are the intruders. I can't think of worse than this. What are you going to do with me? Give me some money. Uh, for real? Well, something along those lines. Now let it be money or items. Just cough it up. Sorry. Well, wait, what? Hmm? Huh. This isn't how I was planning this to go. Uh, if that's the case, I guess it's time for you to go to hell. <laughs> oh, jeez. <gasps> for real? Sorry, but we're in a hurry. Yep. Sorry. <laughs> that just sounds so cool. I'll let you go. To hell. <laughs> I'm definitely choosing this. <laughs> Whatever. That 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 was great. I don't care what anybody says. That line is great. <laughs> We're still learning this whole thing. But I thought that was great. I thought that was a good one. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. You're asking the wrong person about that. We'll learn. I, I do. Uh oh. There's a new possibility with me streaming from the previous fight. ESP's potential allows him to hold multiple personas. Yes. The every main character of any Persona game has the ability to hold multiple personas. Unfortunately, the your party members don't have that ability, but the main character does and everything like that. So we're going to go ahead and pull out Pixie. And Bitcoin's weaknesses are uh, lightning attacks and everything like that. Yes, it was a shadow from earlier, uh, Mona. Mm-hmm. Yep. We definitely do have that. And then pretty much when it comes to, like, talking 
to these different like to in order for you to make you know these different uh personas come uh join you and everything like that you gotta kind of like talk to them um really de really depending on their type so bitcoins are gloomy so you can't either you can't either tell them like a joke or like something in like either like a joke or something happy the more serious you know what i mean so the more serious uh answers when they ask you questions it's you know it works for them and everything like that so yeah it just really depends on the type they are and everything like, like, like that like that obviously didn't work and everything like that so yeah so you just got to really like choose your words wisely when it comes to talking to these different types of uh of personas and everything like that so yeah obviously we didn't get bitcoin on our, on our side but it's fine it's not like it's not like pokemon you know you don't have to catch them all and everything like that and stuff but i mean if you kind of want to uh 100 the uh the list um the compendium uh list and everything like that that's all good and everything like that but um you don't have to um and everything but uh I d i'll definitely show off some of the ones where you could pretty much get that are really good, you know, when it comes to like going through the uh, Kamoshida's Palace and everything like that. So yeah, um, there's more to it though. Um, again, I could say it, but obviously the game already does the talking for us and everything like that. That's why you kind of like don't really see, don't really hear me talking as much and everything like that because obviously you know the game already does it for us and everything. During a holdup, you can negotiate with an enemy shadow. A successful negotiation may even earn a new persona. If your enemy is a persona that you already have, a mask will appear besides its name. If you ask for lend me your power, it will gain uh, XP. Decide whether to defeat your foe quickly or all out attacks to earn experience. So yeah, but if you do, and there's a downside to earning new personas, you will not have much XP. And everything like that so i mean it just really depends and everything like that and i'll definitely show off like the more like useful personas that you could definitely use uh when it comes to going through kamashita's palace and everything like that and obviously yeah. we can get we can't go through these bars and everything like that um and stuff um but yeah but i'm gonna say this right now just like in my uh pokemon playthrough how i did it and everything when it came to like the wild pokemon I won't show off every single battle. Uh, the ones that pretty much are don't really mean anything. I'll definitely cut off um, and everything like that. So yeah. But anyway, here are these jack o' lantern people um, and stuff. I believe their weakness is wind attacks, which uh, Mona has um, and everything like that. Yep, yep, it does. And that's the thing with um, you know. And that's one thing I wanted to show off too. When it came to me starting a new file, my new game plus is pretty much showing off every weakness and everything like that. That's why I can help you guys out and everything like that and stuff. So yeah, uh, Jack O' Lanterns, eh? They're okay. They're not really that strong and everything like that. But again, it's like if you want to, if you want to build up the uh, the compendium list, by all means, go ahead. Um, I do believe Vanilla Persona Five had an achievement. To where if you 100% it, you get that achievement and everything like that. With Persona 5 Royal, uh, you you don't have to um, and everything like that. So, yeah. Um, I did 100%. Uh, I, I did get all the trophies for Persona 5 Royal and everything like that. There were with, there, uh, compared to, um, compared to freaking Vanilla, Persona 5 Royal's trophy uh, list. Is definitely a lot more easier and everything like that and stuff so I'll definitely like show off the different like how to pretty much get them and everything like that so yeah um, and stuff but anyway let's try again let's try to get Bitcoin this time and everything um, so again gloomy so always go for the serious answers don't go for like a joke one or like a kind of like a happy toned one or anything like that because they're gloomy they don't like they, they don't want they're irritated by all that stuff and everything like that so yeah anyway um yeah like you're going to die yeah that's definitely not something we want to tell them and everything 
Uh, just tell them that you don't really know. Yeah, you see? There you go. And it's always up to two of them. And then bam. Um, and stuff. We definitely get that persona. Um, you don't have to like perfectly get both of them right. Like You can get one perfectly right and one wrong. Then you'll definitely get them and everything like that. Um, and stuff. Um, I'm just saying, if you choose a serious answer, they'll be angry by that. But if you choose kind of like a different one, rather that that's not okay. that doesn't fit the gloomy part, um, right, and everything like that, uh, you'll you'll there there is still a chance you'll get them and everything. If not, um, either if they're angry about it, they'll you know try to attack you again, or if not, they'll just be like, yeah, you know, just here I'll uh here I'll give you this item pretty much and everything like that. So yeah. But uh, anyway, just for good measure, I'm going to go ahead and go and uh, instead of lending power, let's just give me some money. And since we have Bitcoin uh, on our team and everything like that, they'll definitely give us way more money. So if you're facing off against a persona you already have um, and everything and you ask them for money, then they'll give you way more and everything like that. So, yeah, but at the cost of not earning as much experience and everything like that so yeah also throughout the uh uh the palaces you'll be come across these treasure chests and everything some you could autom just automatically open there's some that require you to pick the lock and everything like that and stuff and for the purpose of this playthrough i have a thing called the perma perma uh perma Perma pick or perma lock? I don't remember the name. Uh, annotation, help me out. Um, yeah, which pretty much it's a permanent uh, lock pick that won't break because if you have lock picks, they will break and everything like that. Like you'll, you, it's only a one-time use and everything like that. So yeah. So for that with these palaces, I'll definitely kind of show off like which ones are the useful ones. I'll, I'll at the point where I'll do all of them pretty much and everything like that. So yeah, some some of these treasures have either like uh, weapons, uh, accessories, um, treasure, little treasures that you could pretty much sell, and we'll definitely show off that in the next episode and everything like that um and pretty much like armor as well and also like uh uh your like uh firearms pretty much as well and everything like that not technically firearms not technically guns it's a pretty much an airsoft uh gun and everything but since like uh mona said um and everything because it's the metaverse when they see a gun they'll think oh shit i'm gonna die you know what i mean so that's why it's bright it spits it fires out like actual bullets and everything like that but it's not gonna hurt you know the person that you know is the man that it's not gonna hurt the person in in real life and everything like that so yeah but i i know it's a lot to talk about <laughs> that's why i'm like yeah i'll like you know i'll let the game do the talking <laughs> Like, I'll definitely let the game, I'll let the game do the talking and everything. That's why these few episodes, I haven't really been talking as much and everything. Like, because I just want to give you guys a chance to listen to the dialogue because, man, these, these voice actors did a magnificent job voicing these characters and everything like that and stuff. Uh and everything so yeah um they definitely did a really really great job and stuff um so yeah um remember code names dude <laughs> gotta use the code names bro come on skull uh oh what's going on that was fast your friend lady on oh no she's been taken by shadow oh shit she came back if Lady On does indeed have the app, it could be possible. I mean, it does make sense me since she did jump in with us. So, yeah, I guess anyone who jumps in the metaverse with us will earn that app. Yeah, we definitely don't. So we gotta hurry and rescue her. Oh boy. Let's go. Is this some kind of filming? Who is in charge here? Alright, we should definitely hurry. 
I can freaking move get, get through this table. <laughs> Yeah, freaking, we gotta. Yes. I, I do like that, that, you know, they give you the option, like, hey, are you ready? Are you sure, like, you know, you got everything that you need or something? Or do you, you know what I mean? That, that's what I do kind of like, you know, before you even enter, like, a room um, that's tied to the story. Like, hey, are you sure you're ready and everything? And stuff, so, yeah. I can't believe you mistook my aunt for someone like her. <laughs> Are you afraid? What is that outfit? Have you lost your mind? I do as I please here. After all, this is my castle. The world of my desires. What the? Wait, is this some red light district? What a lively slave. This isn't funny! Enough of the bullshit, Kamoshida! Shit. The girls decided to tell me off. What do you think of that? Talking back is like totally unforgivable. In that case, she should be executed. <gasps> Now then, how should I play with you? Shall I tear you into little pieces? Are you kidding me? This is after What in the is fuck is this? The volleyball team? Hey, that's Takamaki! Just when I was about to start enjoying myself. What's the deal with this guy? You little... How many times are you gonna come back? I bet you just as like many times as you want. You came because you're pissed at me, huh? But, uh... Ah, I forget that chick's name. But it's your fault she jumped, you know. Huh? You were so reluctant to throw yourself onto me that I had her take your place. You bastard! Take one more step and I'll kill her on the spot. Damn it! Just sit back and enjoy the dismantlement show. No, don't! Maybe I'll start with the clothes. You fucking sick bastard. <laughs> You're such a perv! Hey, what are we gonna do? Takamaki! this my punishment for what happened to Shio that's more like it you should have looked like this from the start Shio I'm so sorry are you just gonna listen don't give in huh no I don't want that you're right Letting this piece of shit toy with me? <laughs> what was I thinking? It's like I always say, slaves should just behave and... Shut up! I've had enough of this. You piss me off, you son of a bitch! My, oh, here we go. going to avenge her, you don't. Forgiving him was never the option. Such is the scream of the other you that dwells with you. I am thou, thou art I. We can finally forge a contract. I hear you, Carmen. You're right. Oh, no 
snap. Now it's her turn to wake into her true self. Yeah, buddy. You know what? I'm not some cheap girl you can toy with, you scumbag. Bitch. You stole everything from Shiho. You destroyed her. Now it's your turn. I will rob you of everything. How dare you. Enough of your insolence! No, I've had enough of you! No one's gonna stop me now! Let's go, Carmen! Let's do this. And yeah, for those saying that... Demon is sitting on the toilet. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> when I saw that for the first time, I'm like, wow. Like, way to take the mood off by freaking showing that guy. In, <laughs> that demon in the toilet. <laughs> Alrighty. Now we earn an onto comic key in our party. And this person's weakness is pretty much fire and everything like that. I'm going to say this right now. Maybe you guys are wondering, like, but well, wait, you could... You knock them down. You can pretty much tell them to uh, join your party. Unfortunately, when it comes to like, there's there are specific types of battles. There's you know the uh, ones where you could actually summon, but there's the one the harder ones that you know won't be you won't be able to get into your party and everything like that um, and stuff. Unfortunately, so for now we just gotta kind of like um, <clears throat> we just gotta freaking finish this one off and everything like that. So yeah. Oh my god, this dude just really took a poop. <laughs> oh, just keep knocking them down. Um, everything. Weakness is fire, um, pretty much. With every single time you come across a character awakening to their true selves and everything like that and joining your party, uh, uh, it really... Um, their, um, their element pretty much um, is the weakness of that enemy um that you're facing off against um and everything like that so yeah anyway we defeated him, uh this demon taking the shit and everything but nah <laughs> it's just like wow like way way to take off the way to set the mood <laughs> when it comes to, like a very serious uh thing going on and then like bam freaking demon in the toilet <laughs> like it's just like wow 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 game wow <laughs> Oh shit is correct. Wait! Why'd you come here, man? And more importantly, how? Hey, is that how you speak to a woman? Are you alright, Lady On? Lady On? <laughs> Wait, what is this thing? Oh, is boy. it alive? How can it talk? And where in the world are we? J just calm down. Everything's going to be okay. Don't worry. How am I supposed to calm down? H huh? Why am I dressed like this? When did I... <sighs> What's with this? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> How can you expect me to be calm? Well, I'm stumped. A search party will be coming for us soon. There's no time to explain. We don't have a choice. Let's retreat for now. We were just yeah, that's the unfortunate choice. Go get in the way. Duh, fine. Here, give me your arm. You take the other side. Mm, thanks. Looks like we made it back. Hey, are you okay? Well, pretty much. Wait, I lied. I'm still confused about all of this. You may be safe now, but a lot sure did happen back there. At any rate, we stand out too much here. Let's relocate to a safer spot. 
Alright, sounds good. Which one you want? Whichever is not carbonated. Uh, they're both actually. Then. Here you go. No, oh, thank you. What about me? Huh? But uh, you're a cat. <laughs> Have you calmed down, Lady On? Um, Morgana, right? I really am talking to a cat. Trust me. Strange. Oh, Real strange sorry. the first time. You're not a cat, right? It's only natural that you're confused. Demanding that you understand all of this right after what you went through is asking too much. Honestly, I still can't believe what happened. And that power. My persona. It's the will of your rebellion, Lady On. With it, you'll be able to fight in that other world. So if what you told me is true, we can make Kamoshida have a change of heart, right? Is it really possible? Can we actually force him to confess his crimes? The volleyball team's keeping quiet about this while teachers and parents turn a blind eye. If guys like us try and complain, they're just gonna shoot us down. Going all in on this plan is the only choice we got. Then let me help too. I want to make him pay for what happened to Shiho. He just keeps going like nothing happened. Even after what he did to her. I'll never forgive him. Wait, did you just say, let me help? You mean you want us to take you along? Don't act like I'm going to drag you down. Weren't you watching? I can fight too. Yep, she could definitely hold her own. Hey, what should we do? She'll, she's going to be fine. She'll do great. I agree as well. We are lacking in manpower after all. Don't worry. I'll protect her. Even if you said no, I'd just go in alone. Ah, right. She can go by herself. I guess it'd be more dangerous turning her down. Ah, fine. Then it's decided. Well, <laughs> I hope we get along. I'm going to make Kamoshida atone for what he did. Not just for Shiho's sake, but for everything he's done. I won't let any more people suffer because of him. I'll do whatever it takes. I sense a strong fighting resolve from on. And then the talking cat was simping over one of my confidants. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure what was going on there. ...must have relied on subtlety and misdirection. Otherwise, you'd never survive. Some of you might even have been hiding behind a public face their entire lives. If you're listening, then answer me. I and thus, vow. we have acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the lover's persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. And thus we have acquired the lover's arcana. Uh, the confidant, right. it is uh, on Takamaki. Just let me know when you're heading back in. Oh, wait. We don't have each other's info. Hey, give me your number and chat ID. And, um... I'll be counting on you then. Same goes for you, Morgana. The pleasure is all mine, Lady On. What a kind girl. Such admirable consideration for others. And the innocence to cast herself into the jaws of death to achieve her goal. She cares about her friends and she's beautiful to boot. What a girl. She's captured my heart. Oh my god. <laughs> you know, it'd be better if this group could get together quick from now on. True. Our best option would be to make a secret hideout where we could discuss these things. A hideout, huh? I like the sound of that. The school rooftop would work. It seems like nobody goes up there. For the time being, that will make the perfect hideout. I can't contact you from inside a palace, so... I'll stay in this world. 
That being said, I'll need someone to take care of me. I'm personally nominating you. You should feel honored. Huh? It's all you. There's no way I can at my place. The train will be arriving well, soon. we now have our hideout, so let's meet there tomorrow. Wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute. Okay. I didn't agree to this. Let's go look at my new residence for this world. Uh, I did not agree to this. Oh boy, I wonder what freaking soldier is gonna say. Uh, I don't even think in my in my position. I don't think I could agree to take go take on the cat. Oh boy, I guess I'll just head upstairs. Thanks. I'll see you later. Come back again. <laughs> That's it for today. Oh, that customer just now? She's the head doctor over that clinic down the street. Rumor has it she gives pretty crappy examinations and sells some weird homemade medicines on top of that. At least, hmm. that's what I've heard. I haven't been there myself. They should really just leave her alone. It's not like she's getting in the way of their lives. Hey, are we there yet? <sighs> oh boy. Well, I gotta get home and start making dinner. Well, this is going to be fun trying to hide this cat all the time. What the? What is this place? Well, this gee, freaking beggars can't be choosers, buddy. Uh, oh shit. Hey, are you? Oh boy. I was wondering why I heard meowing. What did you bring it here for? Uh, it doesn't have a home. This place is a restaurant. Animals are a no-go. Though, I guess you might stay on good behavior if you've got a pet to take care of. Fine. But keep it quiet when we're open for business. And don't let it roam downstairs, or I'll toss it out. Oh, and I'm not going to take care of it. That's all on you. Was that the ruler of this place? Yep. Sort of, yeah. Pretty understanding for someone who keeps you cramped up in this dump. Then again, I suppose to normal people, I just sound like a meowing cat. Oh, seriously, I had to keep calling out in that cute voice. <laughs> Make sure you wash that dish. The equivalent the of way, the dad saying, "Like, no, we can't have pet at home." Name? Several months later, the More the dad better. loves the pet. <laughs> I was hoping I'd get to. Know. Looks like the chief likes me better than you. And to be honest, this place is heaven compared to Kamoshida's cells. Remember how you guys asked me before about what I am? To be honest, I don't remember anything about my birth. I think the metaverse's distortions made me lose both my memories and my true form. That form human? It has to be. I mean, why else would a cat be able to talk like this? There's no other possible explanation. There's no doubt that the distortions were what caused me to lose my real self. I'm sure that once they're purged, I'll finally be able to get that self back. And I have a pretty good idea on how to do it, too. That's why I was in the castle in the first place. Come to think of it, I didn't get hungry over in that world. Hmm. Let me make myself clear. Your taking care of me won't be for nothing. It'll be give and take. Due to my knowledgeable and dexterous nature, I have a lot of intel on infiltration tools. Okay. What are those? Really? <laughs> well, I can't tell you more unless we settle on a deal. In exchange for you keeping me here, I'll teach you about these tools. How okay. does that sound? Let's do it. Sign me up. I like that answer. <laughs> then it's a deal. Morgana seems rather happy. I definitely had no choice. The talking cat just jumped in my bag and 
took it home pretty much. Skillful infiltrations and escapes to all manner of places. There's even the possibility that you use special tools and had someone who manufactured them. Answer me. And thus, we have acquired a new vow. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the magician persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Thus we have acquired the magician confidant. Yes, Morgana. This one right. is actually a confidant that is tied in into the story so you don't really have to do much uh and everything like that so yeah i'm just gonna say that right now by the way the power you used in the palace was seriously amazing the stronger that power gets the more reliable it'll be as a trump card all right i'm gonna stick with you wherever you go from today on personas are the strengths born from one's heart Depending on what kind of life experience you gain, I bet it'll affect that power as well. And if you become acquainted with capable people, you might learn various useful skills too. This is hmm. all part of our deal. Got it? Got it. I definitely got I it. <laughs> great things from you. Don't let me down, okay? I won't let you down. Getting around in the cat sounds pretty inconvenient. Well, it is what it is. I'll just have to deal with the being the cat person and everything. Thanks for everything today. You saved me. I didn't even thank you properly. That's eh, fine. Don't worry about it. I can't. Anyway, I wanted to let you know at least. See you tomorrow. You guys send, you guys send messages, messages to each other, to each other with that thing, thing right? right? I want in too. So I'm gonna have to ask you to type for me. Uh yeah, pretty much. Yep, I know. It's hey, it's it's whatever. You know, you can't beggar can be choosers again. <laughs> But anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this part of uh, the uh, Kamoshida arc of Persona 5 Royal. This has been Mr. Spins X saying good night, good morning, good day, whatever time you guys are watching this video, and I will see you guys in the in the next part where we go into uh, Kamoshida's palace, the Castle of Lust. I feel a strange weight pressing down on my body. Is this the stress of Kamashita's threat weighing on me?